Hello everyone, the Nasir with Action VFX. In today's tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick tip on corner paint in Mocha. This trick can help ease out the process of attaching texture into a surface or doing an object removal entirely. This tutorial is an extension of my previous Mocha tutorial on the introduction to Mocha tracking. In that one, I covered the most straightforward way to apply the tracking data from Mocha and translate it into a corner pin. So in this one, I'm going to show you another way to do it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So here is a plate that I got from filmpack.com. And let's say I want to corner pin track this backboard of this basketball hoop here and add some texture on it. So let's get Mocha and here I will be using Mocha AE and then let's go inside the Mocha window. Okay, let's do a simple track of the backboard. Check in perspective and track. Now in my previous tutorial, after we finish tracking, we want to turn on our planar surface and start lining up our corner pins. The problem is with our backboard here, we don't have any corners to pin to. It is difficult to locate where the corner pin should be. And not only that, our texture later will be confined by the size of our planner surface here. So a solution for that is this. First, you want to find a reference frame where the backboard here is showing most of its surface. I am picking the first frame here. And instead of trying to line up the corner pin, you want to click on this button to expand the corner pin to the entire frame. So now if we scrub through our timeline, you can see how our corner pin starts at full frame and then starts adjusting to the track as we scrub through the timeline. So now we want to close this and save. Next, go to the reference frame that we have established and we want to start adding our elements or textures. For example, let's add a text here, position it, and let's turn it to 3D and rotate it to match the perspective of the backboard. And then we want to pre-comp this, move all attributes, and then we want to go to the layer with the mocha in it. And then we want to select the track layer that we just made, and then select the corner pin, and then choose our texture pre-comp as target, and apply. And there we go. We have our text element tracking to the surface. And because the shape and size of our texture here is not confined to the size of the backboard, we can go in the texture pre-comp and make some changes, maybe even add a texture like this blood texture here. And then if we go back to the main comp, the tracking would be updated. Before we go further, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more tutorials like this one. And now let's go back to the video. Okay, so here I have this blood texture layer and we have the basketball hoop in the way. So of course, what you can do next is to create a mask layer of the hoop, which I have already done previously here, or maybe you want to get rid of the hoop entirely. Thankfully, the hoop is always inside of the backboard in the entire duration of the shot. So what I can do is to export just the reference frame as a single frame image and manually remove the hoop using clone tool in Photoshop, which I already have done here. And then let's go to our texture pre-comp and bring our cleaned up image. We're going to mask it to the shape of our backboard. And then if we go to our main comp, this is what we have. The backboard is now replaced by our new texture. Now, if you're using Mocha Pro instead of Mocha AE, you can bypass several steps that we just went through by doing them inside the Mocha window. So here I have another composition, same thing. We have the plate, we have the texture, the only difference is on the plate, I am using the Mocha Pro. Now let's disable our texture pre-comp and select our plate inside the Mocha Pro. Let's set the insert layer to the pre-comp texture layer. And then we want to go inside the Mocha window. And then of course we want to do the tracking and then go to the reference frame, expand the corner pin like before. And then down here, we want to set our layer here to the insert layer. And there we go, we have our texture already applied inside of Mocha. Now let's close and save. And then let's go to the module render again. And we want to check on render and then press insert composite to bring back what we had on Mocha here. And perfect. And that was a quick tip on utilizing Mocha corner pin tracking. And of course, if you want to purchase the blood elements that I used in this tutorial, you can visit our website at actionvfx.com. At Action VFX, we provide fast library of high quality VFX stock footage for your projects. From fire and smoke, energy effects and explosions, and many, many others. 
you can purchase them directly or sign up to our subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library, it's saving you at least 80% off, including our subscribers only free collections, and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching, I encourage you to drop a like, and let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. But most of all, be sure to subscribe, we are aiming for 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And also, there are other resources on this channel such as other VFX tutorials, podcasts, VFX breakdowns, and many others. So be sure to check them out as well. Let us be your number one resource for visual effects. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.